Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of this Chelsea Beta Save. We're back today, we're actually coming back the game after our previous game to play Tottenham in the Carabao Cup third round. Normally I wouldn't come back to a cup game if we'd have been drawn against the championship side or something, but we got the Tottenham game, I thought, let's come back, let's do that and then we'll play... Arsenal, I'll skip two games, we'll play Sheffield United and West Brom, but then we'll play Arsenal, which is about two, three weeks after this fixture, so then you've got a little bit of time between sort of the end of last episode, and now we uh, will have the end of the transfer window and all of that in between us, so if anything happens, I will be sure to let you know, but let's get straight into the game against Tottenham. Okay, so here we are, we're coming into our tactical meeting, the set piece taker stuff I'm not too bothered about, the four changes I'll do that myself, for those I'm not too worried about. Uh, we'll quick pick and then we'll sort of make our choices from there. I don't want Pulisic on the right. I'd rather have Pulisic on the left. And then we'll go, should we go Talvan? Who, is everyone fit? Nandez is fit enough to be on the bench. And I think I'd rather have him than Oginio. Yeah, yeah, I think I would. I think I would. In terms of other options, no, I think we're, I think we're good with what we've got. I think Chilwell starts today two because he's, he's pretty much back to fitness just sharpness is lacking Mendy keeps his place in the team as well let's get right into it so there is the uh, Tottenham lineup they have got a pretty recognizable side Harvey White getting himself a start in there though uh, let's look at this there we can we can beat Tottenham again that's definitely the right thing to say here we go kicking off in the Carabao Cup I'm very excited I'm very excited Let's skip to the start. We're underway. I'm going to swap my cameras. We're attacking the other direction. And yeah, we're underway. So I thought I'd pause and chat to you a second. Tottenham are playing a very deep system. You know, playing a 5-3-2. Son and Kane right up the top. How good is White? He's, he's not terrible. He's decent. Interesting that they're choosing to give him a chance now. The rest of the side is very, very strong. But I, I'm surprised to see them change so much. I think they played... 4-5-1 against us, so this is an interesting uh, change of, of tactic, but we'll see how that affects the rest of the game. Okay, we've got a corner here. They're telling us to go shorter. We might consider that at a different point. Abraham was under it. It was well headed away, and Chilwell has an opportunity to put another cross in. He decides to give it back to Florian Tavan, who loses it to Endon Bele, and Hyomin Son can carry it forward now. Son, who we know is so dangerous in these kinds of positions, is holding the ball up well... He finds Getson at the back post. Add Spurs go a goal ahead after 15 minutes. And that's tough. That's tough. They get that counter-attack from the set piece and they manage to put the ball in the back of the net. Son done really well here to just hold it. And not, you know, we we done well not to foul him, but we just didn't give enough pressure. And Spurs are in the lead. All right, we have a throw in. Chilwell towards Havertz. Chilwell's picked it up. He's got Kante. He finds Kante, he beats his man, Havertz, Mason Mount, he could switch it, he doesn't, he gives it to Kante instead, and his fellow Frenchman, you know, gra gratefully grasps it to his chest. Work ball into box, decent number, most of them are long range. We'll do that, we'll do that, if we're only managing to get shots from range, it's maybe worth, I think, yeah, I think Kante's are both of our shots, so that's, that's not ideal. Let's try and work it a little bit more, we have had more possession. Uh, no, sorry, we have had less possession, so maybe it'll give us some more. Havertz, Pulisic! There it is. Christian Pulisic gets the equaliser. The set piece was, was good. I think Havertz won it to head it across. And Pulisic gets his first goal of the season. And that's just what we needed. James puts it in. Yeah, Havertz does really well to win it there. And Pulisic with a nice finish past the keeper. 1-1. One, one. Okay, coming up to half-time. There it is. A decent half. We've been on top for most of it when you look at the XG chances, but there's been, for both sides, long periods without chances. And I think there's a little bit of, you know, teams are, are tentative. I'm going to... What do I say? I'm going to say I'm not happy. I think that's the right thing to say. Just be, you know, honest with them. Say, I'm not happy. I think we can be doing better. We've already beaten them this season. Turn this game around. A bit of an interesting foul from Mount there, but I'll uh, I'll catch up to you in the next highlight. Abraham picks it up. Mount can start this counter attack. He's got Abraham with him, and he get a good cross in maybe. Gets and holds on. 
Tanganga gets it away. Chilwell has a chance now. We've got some height in the box if we can find Tammy. He decides to go to Havertz instead. Tammy's making a little run. Is that going to be a penalty? The question was whether the foul was in the box. I assume VAR's going to take a, a quick look at this. There we go. Has the dub been given? It has. Penalty has been awarded. Who's stepping up? Is that Mount? It is. Mason Mount steps up. Mason Mount scores. It's 2-1 in the cup. That's exactly what we needed. His first goal of the season. We've not been huge goal scorers so far, but we are very early into the season. Don't forget that. But yes, that's a good way to get us back into the lead. Plays it forward. Gedson on it now. And Dombele. Regulion's getting a lot of space out here. But they decide not to go to him this time. Aurier is probably in a similar amount of space. And he puts a ball across. And Harry Kane, I mentioned the space on that side. And then briefly mention it on the other. And Aurier punishes us from there. <sighs> Unfortunate. Joel didn't quite get across. Quick enough here. Yeah, and there's a lot of space being left. Aurier does that. It's a great drilled cross into the box. Mendy had no chance of getting to it, and it's 2-2. Right, Spurs lump it forward with Lloris. Tamori wins it. Chilwell. Pulisic now. Maybe we have to consider some changes soon. Pulisic is tackled by Winks. Collects it back more than fine, though, and the ball's put in. Wow, that was a good cross, and Talvan done well to win it, but over the bar. All right, I think we make. I think it's time to make a change at this point. Kante's on a yellow, and he's got aggressive body language. To me, that says let's get him off. But that also means I'm going to change the the system. Yeah, Kovacic can go into here as what we're going to play him as. I think you go centre mid support. Havertz goes to advanced playmaker support, and then Tammy. I want Tammy to be a little bit more pushed forward and chill well. You you can do a little bit more going forward too. I want to bring Nandes on for Mount. Actually, no. No, we'll, actually, we'll do it for Kovacic. I think we should actually... Yeah, bring Nandes on instead and play him as a ball winner. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely... That's the better thing to do at this point. Yeah, I prefer, I prefer that option. Thiago Silva's having a bad game, so we get Zuma on, and we'll, we'll just go from there. Yeah, that make, those changes make sense, I think. Okay, corner, Mount. Puts it in, it's not a good corner, and Kane heads it away very easily. Mount has an opportunity to put it back in, though. He's carrying it. He finds Florian Talvan, back to Nandes. Nathan Nandes finds James. Here's Havertz now. Trying to fit into those pockets a little bit more. Mount. Could go back out wide. He's got to be careful with the offside. He does find James, though. James just about beats Regulion. Plays it back for Havertz. Mount. Chilwell now. Chilwell to Pulisic. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot first time. He might try and get it across. He does, but it's not a great effort. And Nandes can recycle it. Chilwell. Pulisic. It's a long highlight. Back to Chilwell again. Here's Havertz. Into Chilwell. Go on, ball across, it's deflected in, it's an own goal. Chilwell will take that. Davinson Sanchez with an own goal. Okay, we're now in a more attacking system, so we're going to go to balanced while playing the 4-2-3-1, but that is good for us. That is very, very good for us. It's a powerful ball across, and it's just hit the back of Sanchez and found its way into the back of the net, and it's 3-2 to Chelsea. Spurs have a free kick that they lump forward, and it just finds Talvan straight away. Havertz. James. This overlap's been very handy for us in this game. And we might be about to get another penalty. It'll go to VAR first. But are we going to get it? That's the big question. Are we going to get it? And we have. Mount will take another penalty. Can he give us a two-goal lead for the first time in the game? Will he go the same direction? He does go the same way, but this time he goes to the bottom corner and beats Larice with a fantastic penalty. Hammered home for his second goal of the season. Do we make a change to make us a little more defensively capable? That could be something that we look at. I think we do. I think we... Hmm... There's a couple of things we could do here. 
go to a three in the middle. I was, going, I was considering putting James in, but we go to a three in the middle. Of him as a Mazala, box to box for Mount. Nandez plays the more defensive role, and we get Aspilicueta on as more of like a supporting player. We just try and maybe sit off a little bit more rather than being so expressive going forward. But Mount has a free kick. Oh, and he hits the crossbar. If that had went in, a set piece hat trick would have ensued and it would have been amazing, but <laughs> it remains 4 2. Another corner for us. Chilwell this time. Puts it in towards Talvan. Kane has won pretty much every header in that box, it feels like. Nandez goes back towards Kurt Zuma. Into Nandez. Zuma going backwards, but this time finds Pulisic in a more advanced position. Who loses it straight away. Tomori, can he calmly deal with this? He can. Nandez, Chilwell. Here is the England international fullback now. Chilwell, can he get a ball into the box? He's decides to go to Havert instead. Chilwell. Ball across on the floor. It's blocked well by Tanganga and it's cleared away. But can we recycle it go forward again? Chilwell. Getting a lot more involved now. Havert. Back to Chilwell. Since we moved him to support, he's been a lot more involved. And maybe that's something we've got to consider doing permanently. But that's going to be a free kick. All right. A few minutes of added time to go. Are we going to hold on? We are at the end of added time, it would seem, but there is still a little bit of time left to go into the referee. And Abraham brings it forward, but that is going to be that. A 4 2 victory in the Carabao Cup. I think that's a pretty astonishing victory. When you look at the XG graph, I mean, that's happy days, isn't it? That's happy days. Well done. Good win. And yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. Um, couldn't have went much better. I thought I'd pop back just to, you know, pat my own back a bit. We won Manager of the Month. We played two matches and we won both of them. And we, uh, yeah, we got Manager of the Month. We're about to also have the Champions League group stage draw. So I thought, you know, I was planning on doing that anyway, but when... That appeared, I thought, well, I can't not mention it. Uh, Anuin's going out on loan to Middlesbrough, who we just beat uh, in the Cup. I'll tell you that result now. We beat them 3-1. Christensen, uh, Jorginho and Werner with goals. Pretty straightforward. We were actually 1-0 down. But we don't have to worry about that too much. Let's look at this group stage draw. Uh, where are we seeded? I didn't read it. Are we seeded second? We are. All right, let's draw all the, the top teams first. Ooh. Well, I'm excited. Zenit would be nice, wouldn't it? Zenit would be nice. Liverpool, so we can't be that one. We can be this one. Not anymore. Real Madrid. Please no, please no, please no. Okay. Porto? Oh, okay. No, please no. Oh, okay. Oh, God. There's one. One good, two really bad. Oh, we got Sevilla. Okay. Sevilla are still very good, but I'll take that. Uh, we'll skip through here. Oh, God, they're tough teams. Probably Salzburg or Celtic you'd rather have. All okay, right, Celtic? Lazio. Okay, that's tough. That's tough. Let's see. Oh, God, this is a good Champions League set this time. Slavia Prague. That's, a, that's not an easy group. That is not an easy group whatsoever, but that's what we've been drawn with. Um, yeah, look forward to that. I'm going to come back for the Arsenal game, uh, which is just in a few games' time. I'll see you there very soon. Change of plan again. <laughs> Change of plan again. We're going to come back. Uh, we're going to just play the next game. We're going to play the next game against Sheffield. Sorry for people who were looking forward to Arsenal. Uh, we're going to play that, and then we're going to come back next time to play Lazio and Newcastle in the next episode. So, yeah, we'll play the Sheffield game, and then we will uh, we'll come back to you with the... Uh, with I, When have they moved the Arsenal game to? Like, all the way over here. Yeah, okay. I'll see you there soon. We have another little thing to do before the next game. Squad registration. Now, let me just make sure that we have everyone available. So, Kepa and Mendy have definitely got to be in. Silver Tamori. Christensen for that homegrown. Chilwell's 100% got to be in. Obviously, there are players that I've not ticked that need to be in, uh, but they don't necessarily have to be in right now. Musonda, just because he's got homegrown. Right, so we're three homegrown nation players away. So we might... What, do we just register drink water because he's an option? I guess we do. Uh, we want Tauvan, definitely. Ziesh. Oh, go on, game. Let me do it. Werner, Pulisic, Nandez, Havertz. 
Hogini is one I could probably have, like, if I had to not pick him. I could not pick him. Okay, we, we should, yeah, we should be fine to get pretty much everyone in. Uh, I can't get Caballero in. <laughs> is he the only one I can't get in? Yes, I think Caballero is the only one I can't get in. Uh, yeah, okay, let's, let's submit that. That's the squad. Only Caballero doesn't get in. Right, we're back for the Premier League game. We're in sixth. Sheffield are in seventh. This game matters loads. We have only played two Premier League games so far. Uh, but, you know, we want to win against the teams around us. And Sheffield right now are a team around us. So let's move into the game. Is there anything I agree with here? They want an extra attacking duty. That might be some... We can possibly do that. Use tighter marking. Yeah, the to reduce the shots to touch ratio. We'll try that for this game. Uh, team selection. I'm going to click do it for now and then I'll look at it in game and decide if I agree. So, I think Chilwell's got to come in uh, and start. We're going to put him on support like we changed to in the last game because I think he was really, really useful. Werner to start this one too. And then everyone else, I'm kind of happy to let, to let play unless we want to get... Where's Ziyech? Am I being blind? Where's Ziyech? Oh, he's, he's still not fit. Okay. No, we'll just we'll just go with... Apart, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> okay, we'll get Talvan. Let's give Hudson Adoy the run out. I, I don't see why not. Let, let's try him out in this game against Sheffield United. Here are the squads. A relatively recognisable set of squads for both sides. Let's get right into it. Oh, they want us to not hold back when attacking John Fleck. I imagine he's going to be a playmaker in their system. That's why they're doing that. So here we are, we're at the bridge. Let's get it going. I'm excited for this one. I think this could be... Hopefully, this is a game we can win relatively comfortably. But Sheffield are a good side and could cause us some problems. So let's watch this highlight and see what happens. Norwood finds O'Connell. Decent pressure from us, forcing them back to Ramsdale. Basham finds Sanderberg. Nice switch of play. Fleck into Berg again. They go out wide for Baldock. The fullbacks are obviously going to get very high in this system. He does really well to beat our man there, but he manages only to put the ball wide of the post. So, we've been encouraged to go short passing, and in the Middlesbrough game, I did this, and it worked quite well. And because we're a better side than Sheffield, in my opinion, so we really should be playing like we are a better side. So I'm going to go with that. We are going to go shorter passing, at least for this half. To see how it works. Go on, Hudson Adoy, well saved. Hudson Adoy has it on this left hand side. Puts a ball across for Mason Mount! And there it is. I didn't start commentating that properly because I thought it was just the, uh, the highlight for the tactical changes, but we score a lovely goal. Maybe I don't do this now. Maybe I don't. Because it was quite direct play. You know what? Screw it. Let's not. No, no, no. Let's stick. Let's stick direct. It was very much ball from the midfield, out wide, into the middle, goal. That was it. So, yeah, let's keep with it. Let's keep with it. Okay, throw in here. Talvan doesn't quite get it ahead of Stevens, but Kante will collect deep. He's running out wide, finds Mason Mount, who's been crucial to our games recently. Talvan! Oh, ho, ho, ho. a lovely finish from the Frenchman. Florian Talvan. Makes it 2-0 after 30 minutes. We've stuck with the direct play, and that was also a pretty direct attack. Kante running down the line, finds Mount, running inside. Kovacic, first time through, ball into the Frenchman, who slots it past the keeper to make it 2-0. Good stuff. Right, we're here at half-time. We have been the dominant side. Now, we did apparently have a player pick up a knock. I think it was Kovacic. Uh, I'm going to say... It might be winning, but that can still change. Let me go to tactics and let's get... There's no point risking Kovacic. So we'll bring... Jorginho, is he the right... Yeah, what we'll do is, is we'll do that. Um, Mount can play the, the playmaker role. And we'll go with this for the second half. Okay, just over an hour gone. I've just made a change. I brought uh, Aspilicueta on for James because he was very tired. So we've done that. But not a lot is happening in this half. Press Fleck, why not? 15 minutes to go in the game. We have a throw in now, Chilwell. Not been as many highlights in this game. 
Chilwell has the ball. Out wide for Aspilicueta. Has a go! <laughs> it's gone in! It's 3 0. Cesar Aspilicueta makes it 3 0 with a wonderful finish past the keeper. We bring him on. And he scores a great goal. A really great goal. Chilwell holds on to it, switches the play to his fellow fullback. He just sort of sets it for himself. Ramsdale gets a hand to it, but not a strong enough one to stop us going another goal ahead. And there it is. Wonderful stuff. God be happy with that. Aspilicueta with a throw in. Talvan. Back to the Spaniard here. Tackled. Jorginho has it now. Aspilicueta couldn't put the ball in. And McBurney can maybe help a counter-attack get going, but he doesn't really. Thiago Silva back to Chilwell again. Into Mount. Mount's got Werner. Werner off the post, and it's cleared away by O'Connell. Felt like a bit of a sitter there. Unfortunately, hasn't gone in. And that is the end of the match. A purely dominant performance from ourselves. I'm, I'm really, really happy with that. A good win for us. And that, I believe, should leave us top of the table. We've played a game more. Sorry, a game less than Manchester United. So there are teams obviously below us. Uh, that have um, that have played more games as well, but have played the same. But we're the are we the only team that's won all three, which is amazing for us. That we're looking that solid, yeah. But the there are a couple of unbeaten teams as well in Leeds and Manchester City. There, Manchester United are also unbeaten, but they've drawn another game, so that is pretty good. But that is going to be that for this episode. All right, then, guys. Thank you very much for watching today's episode of the Chelsea Beta Save. We will be back. Uh, tomorrow with our first Champions League fixtures. I'm very, very excited to bring you those. Uh, I believe we're playing Sevilla first. No, sorry, Lazio first is who we're playing. So that's going to be very, very exciting. And I look forward to seeing you then. But if you haven't already, hit that like button, comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you again in another video. All right, goodbye.